My name is Tyler Webb and I am now 27 years old. My biggest fear is that I'm a failure as a teacher. My biggest fear is that I am dumb. And my biggest fear is that like I am insignificant. I got walked over my first year of teaching. And so, um, yeah, my biggest fear is that like, I'm just not competent and good at what I do and therefore not significant. And there was one moment where after a long day of teaching and just feeling like, oh my gosh, that lesson didn't go right, that lesson didn't go right, these kids don't respect me. Um, after every class feeling that way and kids filed in and out and I would try and try and try, but I just knew, I could see that we weren't really getting anywhere. The kids weren't giving any effort because they didn't respect me and they didn't respect the course. And I had this terrible habit at the time of going to ratemyteachers.com for validation. And so every day I'd go there to see if there was a new post about me because it would lift my spirits or break my spirits. And I read the newest comment that made my heart sink and it said something like, his class is complete chaos 100% of the time. He uh, tries way too hard to be funny. His assignments are dumb. Um, and something like, would not recommend. When I read that, like, I felt waves of pain spreading throughout my body. And I looked around my empty classroom and it was silent in there, but like I could feel my body pulsing with pain. And the room kind of got dizzy and was spinning a little bit. And I just remember thinking to myself, this is the worst moment of my life. Hey, Mr. Webb, what is up? It has been a pretty long time. <laughs> um, I just wanted to let you know that I am so beyond thankful for what you did for my experience at Amador. In no way would it have been the same without you. You made my classroom somewhere I wanted to be. You made the students feel like family. You were the greatest English teacher I've ever had. Maybe one of the best, maybe the best teacher I've ever had. I can't thank you enough. I literally just can't thank you enough. Yeah, Mr. Webb really helped me with uh, advancing my writing and writing theses and analyzing books and really helped me, you know, improve how I think about what I'm about to write. And um, my favorite memory was when he was doing a writing demonstration and he wrote about peanut butter and how he loves it so much. Hi, Mr. Webb, I miss you, and I hope everything's great in Colorado. I wanted to thank you for being an awesome teacher my freshman year and making me more confident in my writing. Mr. Webb was a great teacher because he really cared about his job, and you could tell he loved his job. And he put a lot of effort into making sure he was like there for every student in the class. What's up, Mr. Webb? I just want to let you know I absolutely loved your class. You were one of the funniest teachers I've ever had, and I had so much fun in that class. You helped me develop as a reader and a writer, and honestly, I feel lucky to have been in your class because I feel like you helped prepare me for the rest of high school. Hey, Mr. Webb, I'm putting together the videos right now, and uh, it's crazy to see all the bonds you've created with your students, and even with me, man. Like, you were the reason why I actually looked forward to sixth period. You know, I, I actually cared about that class. And it was because of you, because of how much effort you put in and how much you tried to connect with your students. Love you, Mr. Webb. Um, I love you. I love you, Mr. Webb. I love you, Mr. Webb, and I miss you. I love you, Mr. Webb. I love you, and I miss you, and I know you'll continue to be a great teacher. I love you, and uh, have fun in Colorado, man.